On today's episode of Armadillo Pepper TV, we're going to make some bacon bowls using our Masterbuilt electric smoker. Hi, my name is Jeff. Bacon bowls are not a new concept, right? I mean, there's even this little uh, infomercial gadget to help you make the perfect bacon bowl. Um, you don't have to have the gadget. You can make bacon bowls with a muffin pan. And what we're going to do today is make these guys and smoke them in our electric smoker. Then once we've got them ready, I'll show you some few different of our favorite recipes uh, to fill these bacon bowls with. As I mentioned, I've just got a simple muffin pan. And um, when I make these, I personally like to do it with uh, the thicker style bacon. Um, if you, you know, surf around the internet or what have you, you'll see some people tell you to cut the bacon in half. Look, you can do it the way you want. I, personally, just like to fold the flaps over. A couple reasons. One, the bacon is going to shrink probably 20, 20, 30 percent. And also, I mean, what's wrong with having more bacon? So we'll just, um, in case you haven't uh, made one of these before, we'll just make a couple. And some uh, instructions or videos, they'll wrap another piece around the top. But if you see, uh, mine's quite covered using this double, you know, folding it over uh, the flap method. You can see it really doesn't take that long to get these guys made. And we're just going to use this same process to cover all of our muffin pan cups. And then we'll be ready to put these in the smoker. Now you can see we've got our bacon bowls made. Um, it's a pretty tight fit with this particular muffin pan. I wish I had one of those. Uh, you've seen them, the muffin pans that make the larger uh, cupcakes or muffins. But we're ready to stick these in the smoker now. I'm going to use cherry wood um, for the bacon bowls. I'm expecting it to take about an hour to an hour and a half just to get the bowls ready. We have the smoker set on 250 degrees. Uh, it's about 8.30 in the morning, so I'll keep track of the time uh, so we can get an accurate uh, duration once those bacon bowls are ready. You can see we've got a good smoke going. It's been uh, right at 40 minutes. Let's just take a look at these guys. We want these to be a little crispier than this, so you can see they still have some time to go. We're right at the one hour mark, so let's take a look. Oh yeah, they're really looking good now. Probably going to let these go about 30 more minutes. We're right at the hour and 45 minute mark. Oh, those look pretty good. We might let them go a little bit more. Um, in fact, I think I will. 
maybe another 15 minutes just to try to render down a little bit more of that fat. All right. I think we're ready. It's been a little over two hours. Look at those guys. Um, what we'll do now is let these cool down um, so that they'll crisp up and firm up um, for probably uh, 20 minutes to 30 minutes. You want to be a little bit careful getting these off. May stick a little. In fact, this one's giving me a rough time. All right, now comes the fun part. We like to dress these guys up differently uh, with different toppings. What I've got today is I've got some pears, I've got some smoked sausage I've heated up, I've got some eggs, mushrooms, spinach, apples, uh, hash browns, some green peppers, some Carolina Reaper peppers for me, and then some avocado. Um, so what we're going to do now is uh, have some fun and fill these guys up. I'm going to put a little egg in a couple of these guys. Maybe um, some hash browns. Um, this one, I want to put some sausage. And I think um, some apples. And maybe a little sausage in this one. We'll top a couple of these, maybe with some mushrooms. It's been 15 minutes. Now look, look at those guys. The cheese is nice and melted. We did have a couple of fatalities here. All right, you can see that these guys look delicious. Uh, as I mentioned, we did have a fatality. The bacon cup came apart. I'm looking forward to taste this sausage and apples and cheese. Really looks good. Let's give one of these a try. The smoke flavor on these uh, bacon balls is just awesome. I really recommend um, to give these guys a try. They're real easy to make and you can dress them up with whatever topping you'd like. Hey, one thing we learned here today is in the beginning of the episode, we showed each muffin cup covered in bacon. And because of this small tin, uh, the bacon was actually touching on the sides. We had a second um, muffin tin where we only covered uh, three of them. We had some leftover bacon. What we learned here is that uh, leaving some more air and space in between uh, caused the bacon to cook more evenly on the bottom and uh, on the inside as well. So if I were doing this again, I would either get larger muffin tins where uh, each one would be separated out and there would be some more air between it to allow the bacon to cook more evenly like we saw um, with the tin that just had the three. Or I, if I had only small tins, then I would just uh, only uh, cover three, tin, uh, three of the cups uh, and just use more tins. If you're new to Armadillo Pepper TV, make sure to hit the subscribe button so you'll know all about our newly released episodes. And if you like what you saw, please don't forget to hit the like button and leave us any questions or comments.